Hello, hello! Today we are on the Tabana Trail. I've actually done here once before, but it was one of my first videos. That was sometime last year, around March or April. But today we are back here with the Dewey Fires Hiking Group, and we have the drone this time and everything, so we're going to aim for a better video than last time. So today we're doing the Cabana Trail, it takes us from the beach behind the Melville Airport, and it takes us along the coastline just after Wesley. <clears throat> Now, this trail, it's like you walk into the forest, up the mountain, down to the small beaches. Up the mountain, so we did that about three, about three times. We had a lot of small secret beaches that are not accessible by vehicle. You know, but you, this hike takes it. We'll be passing along. You, I guess you guys must have heard about the Kalibishi Red Rocks. We have our fair share of Red Rocks on this side, and we'll be passing on it. I just want to say one thing that while there was, looked like there was some rain earlier, there's a possibility that the Red Rocks area we're walking on might be slippery, might. So we have to be very cautious. Just take our time. It's not dangerous. We just take our time and we'll enjoy it. Because when, once we get on top there, the scenery, the beauty is real, real beautiful. All right. So the hike is estimated between two and a half, three hours. We take our time, it's no rush, it's not a competition, it's not a running race, nothing at all. We all, most importantly, safety is our key measure, our key point. We look out for each other. All right, and we are on our way on the Cabana Trail. Now, I was going to fly the drone through here, but apparently it's way too close to the airport, so it is a restricted zone. So my drone is unable to take off from here. So hopefully when we reach further down around the rocks, I'm able to fly there, but I am not too sure. So we just walked through a section along the edge of the shore and it was completely covered in water. It was not like that last time. Let me tell you, the last time the sea was all the way out and this was all rocks. But right now, we are literally just walking along the sand compared to the last time. My camera got slightly wet from one wave that splashed up, but hopefully nothing happens. All right, so we have left the beach and we have turned onto the trail. But compared to last year, look at this. It's completely different. All here just used to be completely covered in trees. And right now it's nothing, just, just dirt everywhere. So the landscape for higher off has definitely changed and they say it has something to do with the airport construction but the airport site is like all the way over in Wesley and where it's still in like the Maridot side area. So I'm not too sure what this whole change to the landscape here is about. If you, if you know, then fill me in in the comment section. But right now we are on the rock formation that leads into the sea and it gives a very nice little view and it's always nice to just come on the rocks and just look down into the ocean below. <laughs> lower Shane, lower.
<laughs> she she claims I've never taken video. Uh-huh. <laughs> hello, uh-huh. hello. <laughs> nice video. Double video. Double video. <laughs> Double video. <laughs> Mimi told me she can jump in the sea and she'll be fine. What? <laughs> Who's jumping in the sea now? What? No, she can't jump in the sea. She's got the wrong person. This she, she, can't jump in the sea. She told me she can fly, so she can I do can it. I can fly. Yes, that's what There's she told me. There's many things I can do, but <laughs> that request there is strictly climb. <laughs> All right, so this is officially my third time on this beach. The first time it was nice and clear like this. The second time it was completely covered in seaweed. This time it's nice and clear, but there is a huge difference. The difference is this time, I'm gonna walk up a little bit. Over here, the forest is completely done this time as compared to the last time. So once again, more, more clearance. One. So, so it's in the uh, okay, I want. Yeah, it's very good. Thank you. You just caught that in the ocean. Bro, I'm done to eat it now. He has used them to fish. Why is that now? Why is that? That's it up there, two fish. They call them tash. Tash? Yeah, tash. Alright. And there's a crab too. And there's a crab too. There's a crab is a fish. Oh, that's a bait. Alright, alright. Oh, puppy. What's your name there? Hawkins Maxwell. Oh, Hawkins Maxwell? Yeah. Are you a little fisherman from the area? From this area, Wesley. Wesley, okay. <laughs> Alright, and now we have emerged on the net bit section. This part seems to be intact. There seems to be no damage to the trees on this section. So we're going to continue going. And then there is the hardest part of the hike, which is a incline that goes up onto the hills and then we'll go back down. But that is definitely the toughest part because that's the only real part where there's any steady incline for this hike. We've been walking on the uphill for a little bit and when you do the uphill there is going to reach a point very early on where you need to turn right and it's very easy to miss it and go straight into Wesley village so make sure you look out for that right turn. Reached the end of the Cabana Trail. This time was a bit more complicated than last time because we thought our group leader was ahead of us, but at some point he drifted into the middle and we didn't know. So we were actually the first group ahead and they were at the back. So when we reached a certain point, I was like, wait, why is no one here? Because we normally use a certain point as a rest stop, but this time we did not. So that happened. And then after we continued on ahead, we reached a certain path and we saw some cobwebs in them like, huh? This can't be the right path, why are the cobwebs here? But it turns out, like I said, he was at the back. So we were the first group. So we've just arrived at the end now. So this was a simple hike, nothing too special, some nice views. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>